welcome dear students to this program dear students earlier we have learnt about algebraic expressions and in the previous classes you have also come across with the uh, equations now what is the need of equation in our day to day life we have some problems which can be solved by the equations today we are going to learn from chapter 4 linear equations in two variables this is part 1 in this part we will learn about linear equations in one variable linear equations in two variables and how to represent a situation in the form of an equation let's see let's revisit the following terms as we have studied earlier in polynomial here also in we deal with algebraic express expressions so let's start with constant what is constant as we know the constant means the value will not change such as 7 minus 5 1 by 2 that means all the numbers as we use are usually constants however in algebraic expressions we also use a b c these are also used to represent a constant they are not actually constants but they can represent some constants in an algebraic expressions as we studied earlier in polynomials that the coefficient of x coefficient of y uh, as a b etc so this can this letters can be used as constant in some cases and what is variable the variable means the value changes which is able to vary or change so let's see some examples such as temperature pressure and humidity of atmosphere or price of different commodities and many more so we in our day to day life we come across with various variables let's perform this activity open up your copies and pen now start with this what is this choose any number between 1 to 9 okay then multiply the number by 3 then whatever you got you add the num number 6 with that now divide this obtained number by 3 now you subtract the number you chose the the first number which was obtained by you you subtract from the obtained number now i can guess your answer the, your answer is 2 okay is it so the answer is 2 let's see the logic understand this logic what is the logic behind it let's take the number bx if the number is x then what to do we have to multiply with it with 3 then we get 3x then what to do then add 6 with that value then we'll get 3x plus 6 then divide this value by 3 then what do we get 3x divided by 3 gives x and 6 divided by 3 gives 2 so we obtain x plus 2 now we have to subtract the chosen number the chosen number was x so subtract this x from 
x plus 2 then what remains that is 2 okay this is not only true for uh, true for the numbers between 1 to 9 just for easy calculation i gave you to choose from 1 to 9 you can choose any number in place of x the result will be 2 okay so this is a situation in which we can express algebraic expression where for any value of x we always satisfy the equation x plus 2 minus x equal to 2 is that equation no this is a statement okay then what is an equation an equation is a mathematical statement of equality which is true for specific values of variables but in the last situation not the variable was not with a specific value any value of x could do that okay now let's see some other situations x plus 5 is equal to 7 plus x minus 2 if we put the value of x 1 then the left hand side gives 6 and the right hand side also gives 6. If I put the value of x as 0 in left hand side, it gives the value 5. And if we put the value 0 in place of x in right hand side, then again it will give 5. That means this statement is true for both the values of x. So, we cannot say this to be an equation. So, this situation is not or this statement uh, uh, is not an equation. Now, let's consider another one that is x plus 2 is equal to 4 plus x minus 2. Is it an equation? Now, substitute any value of x, say 4. In left hand side, if you substitute the value of x as 4, it is 4 plus 2 that is 6. But in right hand side, if we substitute the value of x as 4, this gives 4 plus 4, 8 minus 2 is 6. So, the value of x as 4 satisfies this statement. Now, take another one, very easy, that is x is 0. If we put the value of x as 0, then the left hand side of it gives 2. And now, substitute the value of x in right side it is 4 plus 0 that is 4 minus 2 that again gives 2 that means for the value of x at 0 this statement is also satisfied so we have multiple value of x for which this statement is satisfied so we cannot say this to be an equation then what is an equation now let's consider this case x plus 1 is equal to 5. For which value of x we get x plus 1 equal to 5? In common language, we can say which number is added to 1 to give 5. Definitely, it is 4. Then, we can say that for x is equal to 4, x plus 1 is equal to 5. So, x plus x is equal to 4 is called the solution of this equation. Let us consider another uh, situation. This is 2y plus 1 is equal to 5. That means, which number, the twice of which number is added with 1 gives 5. Definitely, it is 2. So, 2 into 2 gives 4 plus 1 gives 5. That means, for the value of y as 2, this situation is satisfied or this statement is satisfied. So, we can say y is equal to 2 to be the solution of 2y plus 1 is equal to 5. Now, let us see linear equation in one variable. What is linear equation? Earlier, we have studied about linear polynomial linear polynomial means the value uh, the exponent of the variable is 1 
here the standard form of a linear equation in one variable is represented as ax plus b is equal to 0 where a is not equal to 0 and x is the variable. Then what are a and b? a and b are real numbers. They are constants here. Then equation has only one solution. Then what is the solution? The solution is x is equal to minus b by a as the term linear refers to the exponent of the variable 1. Okay? Now let us consider what is the solution. The process of finding this unique value. Unique value means it is the only value for which the statement, the algebraic statement is satisfied. Okay? So, this is the process of finding the unique value of the variable of an equation is solving the equation. So, whenever it is given that solve the statement, that means we have to find the value of the variable and that value is called the solution or root of the equation in one variable. Okay? Let's uh, see an example. 2x plus 3 is equal to 0. This is an equation, a linear equation and in one variable. What is its solution? Its solution is x is equal to minus 3 by 2. How it is, how to solve it? Let us see how we get this x equal to minus 3 by 2. 2x plus 3 is equal to 0. This gives 2x plus 3 minus 3 is equal to 0 minus 3. This gives 2x 3 minus 3 is 0 is equal to minus 3. Now divide both sides by 2 we get on left side we have 2x by 2 and on right side we have minus 3 by 2. This gives 2 to cancel and x is equal to minus 3 by 2. So, this is the solution of this linear equation 2x plus 3 is equal to 0. How to represent it graphically? Graphically, we can represent it on a number line like this. As you know, minus 3 by 2 is greater than minus 2 and it is smaller than minus 1. So, it lies somewhere between minus 2 and minus 1. And you have already studied about the number line. So, the value of minus 3 by 2 is represented on a number line like this, where 0 is uh, said to be origin and to right of it all the positive numbers and to left of it all the negative numbers. Now see, what to remember while solving an equation? While solving an equation, you must always keep the following points in mind. And what are the points? The solution of a linear equation is not affected when we add the same number or subtract the same number, okay, when on the both side of the equation. If we add the same number on both side, then the uh, it will not affect the solution, the solution remains same. If we subtract some number, it will remain same as we noticed in this uh, solution as we performed here. Again, we can also say that the solution will not be affected if any number is multiplied or divided on both the sides of the equation by the same non-zero number. Okay? Why non-zero? 
because zero a number cannot be divided by zero it is undefined so here it is specifically written when we consider about the division the uh, dividend uh, the divisor must be non zero number okay then linear equations in two variables so how to find the linear equation in two variables what is that let's consider the situation the situation is like this in a one day international cricket match between india and england played in kotak two indian batsmen together scored 206 runs express this information in the form of an equation in this case we don't know which batsman batsman is has done how many scores suppose batsman 1 and batsman 2 as we as we don't know whose score is what so let the score of the first one be x and the score of the second one be y now this situation says that they together score 206 that means sum of their score is 206 so we can write here the equation as x plus y is equal to 206 so here we have two variables as we don't know what are the value of the score 1 and score 2 so we can take those as variables so here x and y are variables so it is customary to denote the variables in such equations by x and y but in some other situations we can also use other letters for forming an equation some examples of linear equations in two variables we can see that 1.5 s plus 2 t is equal to 8 p plus 4 q is equal to 7 root 2 u plus 5 v is equal to 9 and 3 is equal to 2 x minus 7 y see in first three cases we have used the variables other than x and y and in all those cases the variables part are on the left side of the equation now see the last equation we can also write in this way that the constant is to the left and the uh, variable part of the statement is to the right of the equal sign okay so here are we have four examples of linear equations now let's represent the generalize what is a linear equation is in two variables so any equation which can be put in the form of ax plus by plus c is equal to 0 where a b c are real numbers a and b are not both zeros one may be zero but not both zero is called a linear equation in two variables so here we have two variables and the general form is ax plus by plus c equal to zero now let's uh, rearrange the equations in this form here 1.2s plus 3t is equal to 5 this can be written as 1.2s plus 3t minus 5 is equal to 0 if we compare this 
with the previous one that is ax plus by plus c equal to 0. Just think s in place of x and t in place of y then the a is 1.2 here, b is 3 and c is minus 5. Let us consider the second one that is p plus 4q is equal to 7. Here also just think that in place of x think p and in place of y think q then we have p plus 4q minus 7 equal to 0 this is in standard form and coefficient of p is not given here that means its coefficient is 1 so a is 1 b is 4 and c is minus 7 in root 2 u plus 5 v is equal to 9 this can be represented by root 2 u plus 5 v minus 9 equal to 0 here again you consider a u in place of x and v in place of y then here a is root 2 b is 5 and c is minus 9 now the last one we can rearrange 3 equal to 2x minus 7y in standard form as 2x minus 7y minus 3 so what is a here a is 2 b is minus 7 and c is minus 3 now let's see some other types of equation and how to represent them in general form x is equal to minus 7 here we have only one variable how to represent it in equation of two variables now let's see here the uh, here the um, uh, coefficient of x is 1 then what is the coefficient of y y is not here that means its coefficient is 0 so we can write this as 1 into x plus 0 into y plus 7 is equal to 0 so here a is 1 b is 0 and c is 7 in next one 2 y equal to 3 here x is absent that means coefficient of x is 0 so we can write 0 into x plus 2y minus 3 equal to 0. That means the a is 0 here, b is 2 here and c is minus 3. Now let us see another example x equal to 0. Here the coefficient of x is 1 then what is coefficient of y as it is absent so its coefficient is 0 we can write 1 into x plus 0 into y plus 0 equal to 0 so what is a a is 1 what is b b is 0 and here c is also 0 then next comes 5y minus 9 now here again x is absent so its coefficient must be 0 so we can write this as 0 into x plus 5 into y plus 9 equal to 0 where a is 0 b is 5 and c is 9 now let's consider about some situation how to frame an equation from a situation let's see Consider the following situation that is a man's monthly income is rupees 52,000 taking E as expenditure and S as savings express this information in the form of an equation. As we know the income is same as the sum of the expenditure and income uh, sorry expenditure and savings once we uh, we have some expenditure then what remains of our income is the savings 
So, here we have given E as the expenditure and S as the savings. So, sum of these two variables is 52,000. Are the variables? Is expenditure a variable? Yes, if he spends 50,000 and saves 2,000, he, ca he can save 45,000 and he can save 7,000. So, these two variables can vary. So, we can write the situation like this E plus S is equal to 52,000. Now, let us consider another situation. A man purchased 3 pens and 5 pencils with rupees 55, taking cost of pen as X and cost of a pencil as Y. This express this information in the form of an equation. Now, if one pen costs 1 pen costs x rupees. As we do not know what is the value of 1 pen, we can say rupees x. Then cost of 3 pens. What is the cost of 3 pens? Definitely rupees 3x. And cost of one pencil. How much? As we do not know, we can take another variable y. Then we have 5 pencils. So, 5 pencils cost rupees 5y. So, the sum of all these two items is 55. So, we can write the equation 3x plus 5y is equal to 55. So, dear students, today we learnt about the linear equation in one variable, linear equation in two variable, general form of the linear equation and how to find the coefficients of x y and the constant term and also we could able to learn the situations, how to express the situations in equations. So, this is today's lesson. Thank you.